what's up? <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. My name is Beth, if you are new here, and I like to talk about music. Every time I do my intro, it gets closer to just becoming a song. But today we are going to, today we are going to be watching the sooner or later live performance that Madonna did back in 1991 at the Oscars. The reason that I chose to make a video right here right now about this performance is because I recently covered her album I'm Breathless on the channel and basically every comment was like sooner or later at the Oscars pretty much holding a gun to my head and saying you have to make a video on it. So we're going to be doing it right here right now. So this will be literally my second performance from her because my first one was Ghost Town Live with Taylor Swift. So this will be my first performance performance of Madonna by herself, you know, doing her song. So I'm um, looking at the thumbnail. I'm seeing, you know, maybe some Marilyn Monroe vibes going on. We've got the little hair moment. We've got the gloves. It's going to be very dramatic. I get the sense. Oh, I, I did want to do an update on this album. Okay. I admit throughout my entire reaction, I was like, I am never going to listen to this album again. Catch me listening to it in the shower yesterday and really enjoying it. Um, I was like really smiling my little butt off while listening to that album in the shower. It is a very feel good album. Um, and I do really enjoy listening to it for the joy that it brings me. So, you know, I, I don't know that it'll be an album that I go back to all the time, but I definitely think it's a fun listen. And I do admit that I have gone back to it already. So yes, I'm a clown on my channel 24 seven. That's my brand. Anyway, let's get into the sooner or later live performance from 1991. So this was, um, this was five years before I was even on this earth so predating my existence this better be good you guys really hype this up a lot so i'm expecting the world the flare why is the, the image quality is so bad she looks like a beam of light like what is it? Like she looks like a flashlight. <laughs> the windmill arms. Oh, she's a performer. Like the girl knows how to really add drama to everything she does. She's like seducing the crowd. <laughs> oh, I love, yeah. Oh, this is, mm -hmm. this is seductive. She's coy as hell. Sooner or later you gonna be mine. Yes, the drop. Ooh. Girlfriend's down to one glove. <laughs> or later you gonna be fine. Maybe it's time that you faced it. I always get my money. So far, I can't tell if she's actually singing or not, but it does sound like live vocals. So that always makes me happy because I hate lip syncing. Sorry, I hate it. Sooner or later, you're gonna decide. It's definitely live. Sooner or later, there's nowhere to hide. Oh! I just want to say I love a tooth gap. I think it is so unique and genuinely just so attractive. And I just want to say that because I feel like a lot of people try to get rid of their tooth gap. I personally love it. But if you insist, babe, the challenge delights me. The more you resist, babe, the more it excites me. And no one I'm 
she's fake and book fights me again. Oh, okay. she's so good. <laughs> like, she's so good at just changing up the whole vibe and the tempo and okay. Okay. <laughs> my list is just a question of what? Some people saying she can't sing. Um, and obviously, like, I've only seen two performances from her, but I'm just going to go ahead and say the woman can sing. It sounds incredibly pure and inc incredibly clear. And she's hitting every note. Like, it is a, it's a lower register. She's not doing any crazy notes yet. But, like, I feel like she can definitely sing. Again. Again. <laughs> You're on my list. It's just a question of what. She can hit those notes and she can sustain them. Then they be I'm counting to ten. And A girl can get awfully, awful in this spot. She just has like so much stage presence. I know I don't need to be the one to say it, but I'm gonna say it anyway. Sooner or later, it's gonna be mine. It must be fun to perform this song. I'm gonna love you like nothing you've known. She has such a pure lower tone. I'm gonna love you and you all alone. <laughs> There's someone not only getting a holding my man. <laughs> this is such a good version too. This time I'm not only getting a hug and squeezing and petting it. Talk to me, Jim Short. The note. My man. Even the end note. Madonna, you little toy girl. <laughs> Just kidding. Madonna, the flare. It's the flare for me. Oh, is she gonna, is she gonna, I thought she was gonna do a, <laughs> I knew she was gonna do something. <laughs> like, unnecessary and that's why it's am amazing down to like her entry and exit from the performance you can see that she is a performer she enters this kind of persona she gets on stage and everything she does is dramatic and like over the top but just enough that it's like a a amazing performance not in the sense of like it's annoying but it's very dramatic it has a flair to it every single look every single touch is very intentional that's what i got from that performance you know it did look very rehearsed but she really did come on the stage with really nothing there other than her and like the pink backdrop and the boa like it was just her and the boa and she still managed to make it really fun to watch she definitely has a flair you know she did like the seductive eyes and like the looks and the movements just could tell that she's born to perform. Like really I could just from that performance alone. And it, people have been going back and forth in the comment section saying she can sing, she can't sing, she's an amazing vocalist, 
She's not the best vocalist. I will just say I've only seen a couple performances from her, but I think she has an incredibly pure lower tone of her voice and she can also go into those higher notes as well and she really stayed in the pocket of where her voice was strongest which I think is a strength that she has already from the couple performances I've seen I would say that so maybe she's not Adele but like that doesn't mean she's not talented so I just wanted to give my two cents on that because I feel like sometimes <clears throat> I do feel like Artists are expected to literally be perfect, to have every single element of their artistry to be flawless and like have no weaknesses at all. And I don't think that's very realistic. I think every single artist has strengths and weaknesses and places that they really thrive and places that maybe they struggle a little bit. Sometimes people expect artists to be perfect and like never miss a note or like never have a moment where their voice is a little bit strained. And I think that's entirely unrealistic. So I just wanted to say that. Yeah. Yeah, I liked especially how she had that slow, elegant, coy, teasing vibe at the beginning of the performance where the song was very slow, but then immediately when it picked up and she kind of changed her whole vibe, I thought that was really fun and made the performance more interesting to watch. So yes, it was very fun to watch. But thank you so much for watching. This was a short little moment, um, but I just wanted to do this one performance for this video and really focus on it, you know? and more to come sooner or later.